in the preface to the picture of Dorian Gray, famed author Oscar Wilde provides readers with key points of the 19th century aesthetic movement, his views on beauty, and the roles of the artist and critic. Wilde says that artists and writers should create art not for their own fame, but simply to display the beauty in the world. Critics, on the other hand, should experience the beauty of the work without seeking to interpret or analyze it. People for whom Wilde believes there is hope are the elect to whom beautiful things mean only beauty. Critics who attempt to go beneath the surface or to read the symbol of artworks do so at their peril, because in doing so they may attribute meanings to the work that were not intended by the artist. While artists can paint, sculpt, or write about virtue or vice, their works are neither moral nor immoral. A book, for example, is merely well-written or badly written, and nothing more. Art does not need to serve any practical or moral purposes. Wilde concludes, all art is quite useless. The preface can be read as a defense and counterattack to the criticism of Wilde's original narrative. Critics who disparaged the 1890 publication cited immoral content, and few addressed the powerful story as a work of art. Wilde's preface makes the case that beauty is the purpose of art and its only defense. Thus, any criticism made on moral grounds is invalid because it fundamentally misunderstands art. Thank you.